massage and touch Spend it like a tag I think it's from Nas My new shit from Paris My new move from Paris My new you a Jarrett Your new you a catfish We do you like So the NBA has came down with the suspension on Draymond Green. After the, the game two antics where he stepped over, not even stepped over, he stepped on Tobias Bonchis' chest, right? And also, after after he got ejected, he made even more antics by, you know, clapping in the crowd, you know, getting the crowd wild up, you know, getting more trouble towards himself, right? I'm not going to lie, y'all. This NBA suspension is bogus and soft. So, in today's video, we're going to be talking about how the NBA got this horrendously wrong. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Will. We'll back again with another video. NBA, y'all dropped the ball. I mean, this is a couple reasons why I'm going to play, right? First of all, this is a playoff series, an intense playoff series. Where we got two teams going back and forth. We got defending champs going against a team that has the coach of the year. Has the most clutch player of the year. And has a big time power forward at slash center. And they have the, the Kentucky boys with Darren Voss and Malik Monk on the same team. And they, they most off they had the best offensive team in the in the league, right? Going against Curry, Clay, Draymond, Poole, the team that's defending champions. The Warriors are down 2-0. Okay. In the whole game. Sabonis and Draymond Green was going back and forth. They was going at it. It was not just Draymond making these antics. Right? Demontis Sabonis, picked, he slid Draymond Green down to the ground early in the game. And then, when Draymond was trying to land, Sabonis grabbed his leg like this. So, Draymond took the approach and stepped on his chest. That warranted, warranted a one-game suspension. Now, I'm not going to lie. The NBA didn't suspend Draymond Green just for that reason. They suspended him for previous reasons that he did this. Okay? But that's the problem. We're living in an age where if you do something dirty a couple times, I get it. You got to be held accountable for yourself, right? But we're also living in the NBA where these refs are just ruining the game. And we also are living in hypocrisy. How come if Draymond steps on somebody, he gets suspended, but Sabonis was uh, just, just not even Sabonis, a, a random person, if you're hooping, right, and somebody's grabbing your leg to the ground, where can you land? What are you going to do in that situation? You going to step right over him? Nowadays, that still is a technical foul. This is my point. We got to we gotta stop with these narratives and these the hypocrisy of if somebody is grabbing your leg, oh, it, you shouldn't be able to, you shouldn't step on that person. Oh, of course, this was a dirty play by Draymond. But let's not act like Sabonis didn't do it. Any kind of dirty plays that game. He did more than one dirty play in that game, which was grabbing Draymond's leg. He slid Draymond to the ground. He also pushed Clay Thompson all the way to the to the bench. To the to the fans. There was a lot of plays to bonus there. And then he wanted to act like the victim in the rest of the game. I don't blame the Warriors being fed up right now. I, I don't know how Draymond Green feels right now. But I know in past history, yes, he has done this kind of stuff. But why are we gonna why now we're gonna base this on past history? Why would that's the problem? Why are we basing on players' past to now? That stuff happened in the past. We're in today. We're in first round of the 2023 NBA playoffs. We're not back in 2016 when he did what he did to LeBron. We're not still in back, back in 2016 when he did to Steven Adams. Hey, we're not in back in last year what he did. In the regular season. We're not hell, we're not even back in what he did to Jordan Poole. We're in 
today. What happened? If if Draymond Green got suspended, why did Sabonis at least get didn't get fined or nothing? Because he's hurt. That's a bunch of BS, NBA. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's a bunch of BS, and that needs to be fixed. And all, another thing that needs to be fixed in the NBA is officiating. Back then, you was do, you was able to do more than what Draymond and Sabonis did. Remember when Scottie Pippen. You know, posterized it, uh, Pat, Patrick Ewing. That was incredible, right? He stood over him, almost teabagged him, and then pushed him. There was no tech there. Probably was, but there was no ejection or nothing like that. Well, we got Draymond just stepping on somebody's chest because he had nowhere else to land, and he was getting frustrated when Sabonis kept doing these answers, but he don't get, he don't get nothing. That's the issue. That's just an issue right there. Also, it's a playoff series. This is a tense playoff series. They're down 2-0, going back to Golden State. And now you're going to decide to spit Draymond Green right now? Y'all got to stop this. We already we already have terrible officiating. Where you get terrible calls, and then you get a technical for talking to him about the terrible call. And now... The decision right here. Warriors. This is what y'all have to do. Because I still have y'all winning the series. But game three is a must win. Must win. If y'all don't win game three, y'all losing the five. Y'all might get swept. I doubt it, but y'all losing five if y'all win game three. So I've been seeing the play of this team. I haven't really been talking about the series because it, it has been a really fun series. Jaron Foss has been doing his thing. Jaron Foss is he's him. But we got to stop the comparisons to D-Rose. Prime D-Rose, stop it. I don't even want to hear I don't even hear nobody in the comments talking about the comparison from D-Rose to D-Rose. Oh, he's a better shooter. What else? Stop it. Anyways, that's what we all got to do. Take Jordan Poole out the lineup. He's a lot of ability. He's trash. I'm sorry. He's not doing anything for your team. Just making it worse. Start Gary Payton, right? Wiggins has to have a big game. Curry, we know Curry, Curry has to go for 40. Clay has to at least go for 30. And y'all got to control the control the pace of the game. Because y'all can't let the Kings beat y'all in your own game. That's what's going on. The Sacramento Kings are beating y'all in your own game. They are running up and down the floor on y'all. Y'all look old out there. Y'all look tired. Y'all game plan has been pretty nice. But... The Kings are beating y'all y'all on gameplay. So, y'all back in your own four. I believe Curry's going to drop 40. I believe Clay's going to at least go for 30. And y'all going to take Jordan Poole out of the lineup. Y'all should win game three. If not, the series is over. That's all I got to talk about for this video, man. The dispensation was garbage and was soft. NBA is becoming charming. Got to stop. Anyways, y'all enjoyed this content. Give your boy a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. You know I'm going to be dropping these playoff games commentary and you know the thoughts on every game that's been going on and i thank y'all for tuning in this video it's been your boy will and i'm out